Hello guys, I'm Blues Boy. We are back with another episode of Genshin Impact. Let's see. Adventurer. Lan, we need to ask you for a favor. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry you too, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxin flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Lon's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no, they were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Ming. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty. Thanks, Lon. See you around. Okay, we need to go for another one. <laughs> Hello, how may I help? She's kind of cute. We've come oh. to ask you a question. Perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague, because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors- That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just... Okay, so we have another person to meet. So, where is he? Okay, it's okay. Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Okay, I don't like this. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet-smelling ammunition? Is that it? Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Sorry, your story just doesn't hold water. Zhang Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered. That went over Paimon's head a little. Get this mission. <laughs> In short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant, but you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. So, 
Where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Where is that, Mondstadt? We're only making some perfume. There's no need to go to such ridiculous lengths. Somewhere closer to home will do. That's not being honest, that's just plain stupid. Cheap and tasty chop suey. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? What did you say? I meant make me proud, as my assistant, obviously. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Okay, what do we have to do? Wow, Leo's really got a lot going for him. Keep and tasty chop suey! <laughs> Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. This water will do nicely. Okay, let's now, start. perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now, use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume... Cheap and tasty job I just grabbed this one. Later use. So let's make this thing. Just the tree with me, so I wish we are back to the Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please, focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't okay. waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. Okay, thank you. We take that. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays.
Wow, you actually remembered my throwaway comment. You know, you're cuter than people give you credit for. If I didn't have my guard up, I can see how easily one could be taken in. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes. The first choice for daughters of high society. Okay. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave okay. you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? Three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven. Mr. Zhongli's probably been waiting a while. Try something new at the Wan Min okay. Restaurant. Okay. We have complete the. Okay, we have complete the scent. Now we need to go. Cheap and tasty chop suey. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, I just teleport Teleport to here and Let's see what in there So guys if you really like my content like share and subscribe it will really help to grow my channel. Okay, this guy again. We've brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhongli. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one less! <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. Okay. The first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell and the daughters of high society. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the chi Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madam Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her... She will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, 
I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why is he gotta be so secretive this time? I think he has something in fast. So if he can't go there, anyway. Let's go there and do the work. Go here to take this mission. Yes, I can keep living like this. Okay. <laughs> then just add my quest. to go okay it's here so I tell what here and go there Told you I'd win. <sighs> All things must change. Hmm, youngster, are you here to admire the flowers? Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies could... If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, Sometimes they would also bloom joyfully. But... If they heard... So that means these flowers feel what's happening in... Yes. The rumors of Rex Lapis's death. Some say it was a Fatui plot. This harbor is like a... Mount... Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but... I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where an old friend of mine used to wear it on his person. Back when I was young, he saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long... Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? Oh. 
Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can... F this granny is so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? As I thought, it's teleport us to somewhere. Let's find out where is it. Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Whoa! That sounds like Granny's voice. So, this is her teapot? What's going on? Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you, children. Please help an old lady clean up. Here. You know, with such a special teapot and the cleansing bell, do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? It seems like this is the first time I see Friday. This is, uh, I <gasps> That's more like it. Hyman's more and more convinced that she's an adeptus. But don't they all live in Jillian Karst? Why would she stay in the city? Huh! <laughs> 
One of these too. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. That short time too. This one is uh in Oh. You found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me see. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. In and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. An adeptus. Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. Okay. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Ah, Hyman kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Leoa Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless adepti. But no matter to cry, 
catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the right of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Okay, I think they are... Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that... If they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Okay, I think it's time to say goodbye to the great Granny. <laughs> I just saw some flowers. <laughs> this <sighs> may the lord of geo protect you and fortune find you okay, indeed this is the cleansing bell hmm let's place the perfume we've prepared inside of course how would i know that the bell was with her otherwise Suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can... <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes but they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you, but our- Oh, sure. Curiouser and curious. I think I can find the <laughs> shortcut from here.
You're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? I think yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well, but he. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but I have made- Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. I took the liberty of coloring outside the line. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the- Ah! Paimon's heard that name before! Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom. Justice flows across the surface of the world. <laughs> the compliments of a learned. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment, Well, allow me. Hey, it's child! <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man, he just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps, you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, the right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, Take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Hmm, it seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Okay, why are these guys kind of bad guys? A toast to oh, our good. success! Hiring help? Sure! But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. A pleasure doing business with you. A full day of odd jobs at Yujing Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. 
Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. That's too little. Hardly a fair price. Not yet. That's too little. Hardly a fair price. That's too little. Hardly a fair price. What happened? This price will do. No loss to me for a day's work. Oh, help? Sure. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Yujing Terrace. But no problem. That'll be 20,000 mora for a single trip. How does that sound? Done. This is all you got? Child? Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? Thou still no. Th th wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now, get me a single chinksen flower, and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this child fellow. Guess we've got no choice. Have you brought the goods? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare, and I have no idea where I'd find them. With this chinks and flower, I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. Yeah, I think we complete the finding people. Don't be shy. Come inside. Come and see these rare and precious curios. All finished then? Splendid! Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Curious, 
Something here, I should. Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out and Paimon will bring up the rear? Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adept Guy. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow, in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hmm. Huh. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret. Installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out! Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adeptus beast. Did you want to add anything else? No, just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An Adepta Beast. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. 
Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps. <sighs> what the heck is a cocoa goat? Currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Aw, oh, what? It broke? So I think we have to find After a millennia way. of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge power! Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principle? I have a smattering. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. I got one item we need, I think we need to Ha! <laughs> 
Vision. We must remain vigilant. Uh. Anything here? Maybe this is the only <laughs> thing to touch. Let's see. These parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look. It even has a scope. Just what do you think you're doing? Okay, who's this does? So you fixed up this turret? Because you're planning to do what, exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the Treasure Hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Okay, this guy is... Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an Adeptus for selfish gain. It is not we who need reprimanding. Odd for Beelzebub! 
myself. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh, yeah, that. A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wild. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast as Chi Chi. <sighs> Which means. A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a cocoa goat, and review our next step. Good idea! We did our best, and that's what counts! So, it means we need to go to the pharmacy again.
Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Coco Goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adeptabeast could make such taste. I'm sorry. I have a poor me- Ah, here. This is the name. Huh? <sighs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Liyue proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no- Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh. Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. No, him. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Paimon thought Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his- What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi- Ah! The medicine- The snake is speaking! <laughs> I prefer to stay silent. But faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you- Do you sell everlasting incense in this fun- Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do! Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. You might as well just rob the Golden House! Oh, but the Chasing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number! We'd never be able to make that much more! And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Coco Goat! Coco Goat! <laughs> my sides hurt! Oh my goodness! I cannot believe you fell for that! Hey! Less laughter, more sympathy! <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Ah, uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew 
knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. Okay, these guys. That's crazy. like zero difference from 3 million! Hmm. 2,990,000. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it is a whole 10,000 less than the original sum of 3 million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, Little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I... Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. So guys, if you like this type of content, subscribe, you will never miss my future episodes. Well, as it stands, we've hired- Whoa, Finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd? <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, to treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, uh, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. I can use time passing. Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights. 
like those taverns in Mondstadt. I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's jade. Hey, there's even a storyteller here! Great atmosphere! Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one that Tevat trap. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the cloud. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, the glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. They say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, Traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains and white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tientuen have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. Okay, that's a nice These story. are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Lily locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia. And we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Wait. I am not with the Millilith. Nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Achising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Achising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full, but I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official okay. invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. At the Jade Chamber, Together, we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Liyue at Qixing. Paimon still can't believe it! We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count! We should be on our best manners! 
<laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. Some today. Oh, what about the pickpockets? Listen. Oh, what should I try this time? Okay, guys, that's for this episode. So I will stop here. If you really like my content, like, share and subscribe, it will really help to grow my channel. So I'm Good Boy, see you in next video. Peace out.